gentlemen, this is Heritage Television. You are welcome to Colorful Cube. My name is Bumi West. I'm happy to see you. I hope you're happy to see me. I hope you had a nice weekend. This is a beautiful day and today is not a sunshine day, but I know we have sunshine in our hearts because we see the beauty of the day and you know, for those who have been to work, I hope work was not too, uh, too much for you and you enjoy work and you're now at home relaxing. And for those who are just going to work, well, don't work too hard. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm at work myself. Ladies and gentlemen, today's topic is your towel. Call it any language, Inura, in Yoruba language, any other language, I don't know. Towel, your towel, it's something very essential and you can use towel in many places in your home. But today I'm going to concentrate more in your bathroom. But let's talk about uh, kitchen towel. Kitchen, kitchen towel is not meant for cleaning your kitchen top. Kitchen towel, the major job in the kitchen is to clean your hands after you've washed it with uh, warm soapy water. And that is all about kitchen towel. And because you use it quite often, it's advisable to wash it three times a week, seven days in one week. And that's done in your kitchen towel. And please don't ever wash your kitchen towel with um, your oven cloth or the cloth that you use to wipe the top of your sink after you wash up in the kitchen. Keep it clean for your hands only for your hands only and how to look after your kitchen towel don't use bleach on it use ordinary dish washing soap the one you use for your dish is the one you use for your kitchen towel because anything that goes in your body less chemical is good for your body and your kitchen towel is sorted it's done you keep it near the radiator so that it's dry all the time and whenever you need it you just pick it up sometimes it's cheaper to keep your kitchen towel instead of using paper towel paper towel can be quite expensive especially in a home where there are kids I want more to woke up as you know they can just finish one roll of kitchen towel it doesn't matter if it's double thick, four layers, ten layers, whatever they call it, or thick layers. Kids don't know. You know, if you want to use your kitchen towel, the paper one, you only use two rows because you know how much you paid for it. But for your kids, you just them doing all the way. And one kitchen towel is finished. Then you have to buy another one, you have to run out. But nowadays when the money is everywhere, as you know, as a cultural person, you don't say you run out of money, you say too much money, what it for you? Then you, we are now going back to kitchen towel. And properly use of your kitchen towel will last you for a lifetime. It's not something you throw away. Keep your kitchen towel in your kitchen. Then I'm going to talk about toilet towel. For those who have a separate toilet, your you are, if you are four in the house, make sure you have five towel. How? Why is that? One for the visitor, one for each of everybody in the house. And it's very essential that you wash your toilet towel separately and never use your toilet towel to wipe the rims of your toilet or use it to kill flies or quickly use it to clean the window. Uh, nobody is watching you, use it to wash the floor, no, or use it to clean the sink, no. Your, your toilet towel is for you, and you know, you can use color code, as you know, colorful key, or you can use name tag, but name tag most of the time is not seen, so you are better off with color code. Daddy knows his color is maybe sky yellow, or the kids know that their color is brown, and, 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 and green. Then mommy's color, uh, ladies, I trust you. You like your pinky or you like um, wine color. Some, some ladies prefer it peach, orange, whichever color or carrot color, whichever color you choose. 
was as soon as in every place. My, my son was telling me about one color I've never had in my life. I thought it was blue. He was saying it's uh, a different color. And so we have about 7,000 color out there. Champagne, uh, champagne gold, regular gold, yellow gold, brown gold, green gold. Just make sure you color code your towel. And you make sure you wash it three times in a week. With that, you can use strong bleach to wash it. If your color is proof, is is a, a bleach proof, or you just use use a thin bleach to wash it. The reason being that the germs in the toilet is far, far, far more than the germs in your kitchen. So you are sorted with your towel. And if you have a radiator in your toilet, please, 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 always make sure the towels is dry in your toilet. And that's done. No problem. Make sure you keep it dry and make sure you keep it clean. And if there is a suspicion on your towel in your toilet, just don't hesitate. Throw it in the bin and buy another one. That is why face towel is advisable to use in your toilet. Now the real cocoa, as they say it, the real McCoy, is the new trend on the towel you use in your bathroom. Think about it. When you have a towel in your bathroom, it means you have your life in your bathroom. Being positive. Your towel exactly the same way you treat it in the toilet, you're going to treat it like that in your bathroom. How do you treat your... You cannot love your wife so they you are sharing the same towel. It's not advisable. You can't say, oh, Keep it towel, me. No, it's very, 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 very important that your towel is your towel. Your towel and toothbrush, they are family. Towel is one thing that you you use to massage your body. Some people don't understand what towel does. It sucks away excess water from your body, especially in this country. And when you are sucking away, you don't just mop your body. With the towel you actually rub your body with the towel and do you know towel has two faces it depends on which towel you're using it's got quality there are some towel that they frustrate you some of your towel that is in the market when you get it first of all you have to make sure you wash your towel how do you wash your towel you wash it with you, you actually wash it with very hot water, very hot water and mild soap. Actually, I have to confess to you, I wash my towel, my newly bought towel with bubble bath. <laughs> it's, it's funny, isn't it? Or uh, the, 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 the very subtle soap. I don't want to be harsh and a little bit of uh fi fragrance in your towel oh my god you're going to enjoy your towel your towel is your best friend nobody else can do it for you and there's a new style to to do toweling yourself for you to have a better result on towel don't get the massive towel that we will tie around your waist as if uh, you are tying uh, your own buba. That one is called Essibit. Big, massive towel. It's not the new face on earth. Thick and easily, you know, that the, 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 the extractor towel is good for you. Because if you get towel that is really thick and you test drive it, maybe you bought it, it doesn't matter how much you buy your towel. Prices are very all over the country. And in most pastors, they are reasonably priced. Some you get it for some couple of pounds, 15 pounds, sometimes 25 pounds. And some you get a set. There's a reason for the set. That is the place I'm going. Because you see, majority of us, because of our upbringing, we always have bumps and ratchets on our face because the way we use our towel. Some people will use the same towel to clean their feet to clean their head, to clean 
their cheek, their face, their neck, their back, their front, and their hands. And then you're now telling me, ah, I have a rash. Why would you have a rash? The way forward, the latest development, the latest news concerning your towel is buy few towels for yourself. And if you are the kind of person that doesn't have a room to store about four towels for yourself, let's talk about one towel person. The one towel person is really a poor way of looking after yourself. So let's make it two towel person. You get a baby towel of the same color and you get the massive color. Don't ever get a towel that go around you. You've messed it up. You don't need your towel to be walking around in the house. You need a smart towel that will just do the job. Because you can maintain it better if your towel is doing the job for you. It's not uh, it's, it's not your best sheet. That's some people say, ah, go fair towel, it bang bang. No. It's a waste of time, it's a waste of money, it's a waste of space. You don't need that. What you need concerning your towel is towel should do the right job. So let's say you are two towel person, the most important to you in your life, two towels, face towel, should not leave you or depart from you in your bathroom. You'll be surprised what your face towel does. For those who are unfortunate to have multiple towel for themselves. Your face towel, as just mentioned, the name, you always keep it close to your shower. If you are the person that shower most of the time, like me, I have to shower twice a day, like it or not, because that is where I get my strength from. Now, the first thing you do with your face towel is when after your shower, you make sure you wipe your face, shine your eye. Towel is your baby towel, is your small towel. No, no place like your face. After you've used it for your face, please and please and please and please again listen to this simple instruction. Get your bucket, put some water in, rinse it up, shake it out because in most of that towel, that your face towel, you've already had some of your body in it, your skin. Our skin always peel 24 hours a day. But because we don't see it, we think it's not peeling. It's coming out. So the skin, you are shedding skin every second, every time. Because we are full of bacteria, as you know. And we are full of microorganisms. It's not to scare us. It's just to be aware of what we are made of. Some people will look at their skin under the microscope huh. and they say are you sure this is my skin of course it's your skin and the only way to care for it is to get the proper way of looking for it. you see some people have rashes all over the body and they see you say, ah Omo, what cream are you using it's a simple way to look after yourself don't complicate life it's so easy make sure your face has a tiny towel for your face only and each time you use it I'm just advising you rinse it out some people use hot towel I do that all the time how do you use your hot towel when you wake up in the morning put your hot towel in your you know what put it in your microwave with a bowl of water heat it up let all the bacteria die, die, die. It is only the bacteria that should die in our family. And then you bring your hot towel out, especially in the winter time when you need it most. After you've had your shower, your hot towel is waiting for you on, on the side. Especially the day you are not going out to, actually for the, this year, especially for the ladies and for the gentlemen that have just finished their shaving. Try it and you'll be, you, you'll be thanking my mama and my papa because when you do this you will find peace and happiness and you will feel as if somebody have just lifted your face and you know the little 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 things like this that people will complain they can't sleep just try hot so well when you are going to bed just massage your face with your hot towel 
where you are going to pay and you will, you will thank me for this because that will make you have a beautiful skin. Just relax it towards your cheek like this. Make sure you pamper yourself with your hot towel, not too hot. Just make sure, or, or should we call it warm towel? If, because you know, it depends on individual. What do you fancy? Do you want it? It's like me, feeling hot, hot, hot. When I'm going to bed, oh my God, I steam it up. And you know, all oh my neck, because you know, I always call neck and face is close to the engine. All the engine in the body, the real uh, computer that you need to be kept cool and make it looking good is your head. You know, I always say to people, how can they identify somebody if the head is not there? So, Jekori Ewan Be. And the way you look after your head is through your neck, especially this particular side of your neck. Even touching it alone, resting your hands on your neck, you can see the feeling that you are feeling something nice. If you are married or you have a good partner, it's a beautiful therapy for the couple. They can actually uh, exchange towel. We call it romantically way of exchanging towel and suiting. If your husband or your partner say, oh, I can't sleep, I'm tired, use the face towel, just don't say anything. Make sure you finish the supper or dinner as they call it. Make sure both of your towel, of, the, of, of course they have color code, chuck it in the micro in a separate container and then warm it up a little bit. And there's another alternative, there's always a two way to the road. Sometimes you can boil the water in the kettle and have it two bowls. Don't, don't use Ata, ata, ata bowl. Ata bowl means the bowl that you are using to put your ata rodo, which is hot pepper. Then you are going to burn yourself because there are things you don't see that make you cry or make you feel uncomfortable. So people like mint, mental, or, or at all, whatever way they call it. If you are the kind of people that love your mentor so much, you can add mentor into your water but i use what they call chinese oil i get it from one of these job and barracks and um if you put one drop in your towel oh my god make sure your alarm is set because you go to sleep like a baby for those who love mentor but even those who doesn't love mentor at all you can actually use your altar well, your face towel to perform a lot of miracle in your lives. The man will massage the wife with towel. You know your shoulder. It's very important when you are massaging. You take the massage from the shoulder to the neck when you're tired. I have never used paracetamol in my life. I've never used uh, cocodamo. I heard people use it. I'm not saying don't use it. Anything I'm telling you is a suggestion. I'm not a doctor. But when you have practiced, and you've passed it on to many people and it's working, you're getting a feedback, it's good to share and let people know they can be way ahead, living a good life and sleeping because a lot of our people have insomnia when they can't sleep and they complain a lot and they start using medication. But there are other alternate way of looking after yourself without medication and that's the pathway we are taking and it's very easy to 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 practice practice make perfect some people you tell them something they just do it for one day and they they, they meet you at the middle of your business and they say we west ah what you taught us we, we we use it and we can't get results my sister my brother you consistency matters in anything you do at least i will i will advise give give it a month one month is the best way to say this thing is not working, this thing is working. And as a Christian, that is where your prayer comes in as well. And for those who are addicted to drug, you know, medication, well, that's there. I'm not saying don't use your medication, no. But I've, I have living proof of many people that have dropped their medication with the doctor assistant checking them 
and they've been it has been working great for them. Ordinary face towel, massaging from neck, from the back to their face. Finally, you heat you reheat your towel and place it on your head. Oh my god. If you are not if by that you even place it on your head. Before the be, be, before you know what is going on, you are knocked out. And you feel so relaxed. And after that, don't don't eat food over. Eat food before all that because you are going straight to bed. Then now finish your drinking, your day with drinking warm water. Then go to bed. Ah, hey, it's like you you you've just been a, a newborn baby that will be massage all over the body. So now you finish with your small towel. And for your information, I've said it before that if your toilet is not in the same room as your bathroom. Anytime you vi visit your toilet, go back to your bathroom and do the second washing. When you finish the second washing, then you need extra uh, hand towel and towel in your bathroom. Please, according to the name, is hand towel. It's not a face towel. It's not a shoulder towel. It's not a chest towel. It's not a feet towel. It's hand so well when you use your hand to do anything in your bathroom make sure your hand towel is responsible to dry your hand your face towel yes don't forget that you go to help hold your face towel to wipe your face in your hand it doesn't mean that you can actually take advantage of your face towel and quickly use it to wipe your hand it doesn't work like that if you have time for yourself, properly look after yourself. Only one life. Now, the second is your big towel. Your actually for the new new suggestion, the maximum size of your towel should not be more than 18 inches in length. 18 inches in length i don't know what that is in centimeter because i don't use centimeter i use inches so your the biggest towel your entire tool in your household it doesn't matter what your size is is 18 inches towel you can do 18 by 18 it doesn't matter but the longest or the biggest is 18 that means that you can actually manage your towel and your, your, your towel can be more, more, more proactive and more hygiene for your health than when you have a massive towel. You can handle it very well. So what I want to let you know is when you are using your towel, the big towel, the body towel, the large towel in your kitchen, in your bathroom, the way you are supposed to use it is after you have your shower, the way you're going to do it is just use it from your neck down. I'm begging you in the name of the Lord. Adults, I know you just wash your second, your back. Don't ever use your towel to mop your bum bum. Please. It's one thing you should not do. Because you don't want to mix things up for yourself. And that is where many people get sick. There is a reason why it's right there. And don't you, when you are showering, just use water to wash it down. But when it's time to towel, because you see some people actually use their body towel to actually go inside that thing and they enjoy doing it don't do it you're not meant to do that if there's anything you have issue with your mopping that up go back to your bathroom and use the toilet paper that is what the toilet paper is for it's, it's actually employed to do that how to use your towel your big towel your body towel when you finish your showering the first thing you do is you open it up 
I use it to cover your body, your chest first. Because your chest is the cleanest after your face. You use it to clean your body, your chest first. Then you now transfer it to your back. You can do as much time, it depends on what time you have. Use it to go around your back, then your armpits, then your arms, then you take it all the way to your feet. And that is how you use your towel. You can use it to wipe all your body. But when it comes to those places that are hidden, go and finish up in the toilet or have a disposable kitchen towel or toilet roll in your bathroom where you can finish the job with it. If you start doing that, you yourself, you will see what I'm talking about. I'm not going to loud it for you. You're going to see what you have been doing wrong all these days. A friend of mine, I actually trained some people on this, all these ladies at the you know, somewhere, and they came to confess to me that I, I've taught them something that they will never forget and they appreciate it. So I said, after practicing it among my people, let me bring it out and show the world what is the new thing is, and you will not find rash or anything apart from mosquito bite or any other um, insect bite because you are in pure summertime. So don't expect your towel to do the job of your, you know, in some, some situation is inevitable. You have to bear with the weather because nowadays you can see some spider in homes and stuff like that. So back to your towel. How do you care for your towel so that your towel can care for you? The way you care for your towel is your towel, the moment you finish using it, you spread it out and the same pattern goes to it if you have time always rinse your towel out but as we know we are in a country that doesn't even sometimes you wash clothes and for you to spread it out if it's not on a radiator or on a heater it can take a week before you get your towel make you know dry and dry towel is a is hygiene towel. So the truth about it is, mm -hmm. if you are comfortable with your towel, make sure you spread your towel on radiator. Make sure you do that. And if you are the type that rinse out towel, rinse it out, please, is very, very, very important. Because when you rinse your towel out, you get the results. And if you use your towel nicely, you won't see a funny smell from it. Because you didn't take it inside your bum bum. No, towel is not meant for that. Because I've seen a lot of people do that. Change your ways. If you have to change your towel, the right way to change your towel, especially your body towel, the one you use for the whole of your body, change it every three, three months. Some people will now transfer their body towel to use it to cover the floor so that when they are finish their bath or they finish their shower, they can have something to rest their feet so that they can mop their feet from there. It's good. But whatever, 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 whatever you do with your towel, they should not stay in your household more than six months. When you have to buy household goods, the first thing you have to consider most is your towel. Because some people don't have tolerant skin. They will be looking at their skin and they will say, ah, why is my skin going like this? I have all this rash on my skin, I have rash on my neck, I have rash on my face. They've mixed this towel with some juice that they are not supposed to mix it with. Your face towel, you are not supposed to catch your slot from it. If you sneeze, your face towel does not, it's not there to catch your slot. You sneeze and get it out inside the bowl if you can, you know, in the sink. 
and wash it down, they clear it. And whenever you are wiping your, in case you are not even having a bath, you are caught in the bathroom or something, make sure you use toilet paper for that job. At no point in time are you going to use your body towel to catch sneeze. It's not hygienic. You are causing trouble for yourself. Because what meant to go away, let them go away. So you can have you can live a healthy life. Also, when finally you want to care for your towel, the way forward for your body towel is to use soft soap. You can use detergent if you are tolerant of detergent and you use fabric fabric softener or fabric fragrance to make it when you are using it you can feel it in your body you can feel the you know the scent and you can feel more comfortable with it so every time make sure you look after yourself when you look after your towel the towel will look after you and sometimes you realize when you finish bathing and you you just trying to dry yourself up with a towel you will see that your skin is coming out with the towel in a situation like that some people will now use the towel to brush out the skin it's okay there's nothing wrong with it it's your skin it's a towel and you know from this edge they scrub the towel with it so now the towel has becoming coin coin it has becoming your scrubbing uh sponge you see it's a wrong way of using your towel it's your towel yeah but you don't do that to your towel but if eventually the, the towel become a victim of scrubbing your body your neck some people say ah i'm still i'm not still clean and they now feel uncomfortable you see all their bodies there's a way to that. Some people don't know that. When they go in the shower, or they go and have, you know, some people don't like shower. I like shower so much. It's doing me well. I know some people like the water in their buckets. About 50 liters of water. And then, be your bashiman po we pray. Omiti afiwe, egito dani nunue lo po. That is to say, you have a 50 liter of liters of water, and the one that you use to actually enjoy your bath is just little because by the time you pour a, a, a bowl on your body, majority of it is not even touching your body. You are all going into the drain. But well, having said that, if you are using your towel for alternative use, which is when you are bathing, give yourself time. When you go in the shower, soak yourself. What, you, what do we mean by soak yourself? If you are the shower user like me, first of all, your warm shower, close your eyes, let it run through every part of your body before soap at all. You see some people, the moment they go into their shower, you see them using sponge straight away. It doesn't work like that because your skin is not ready for sponge. Your skin is not ready for soap. Your skin is ready for what we call removal of dead skin. You see, that is why some people they say, ah, kilo on sheni nu bathroom to kweto yi. Ah, over do yi boni. That's what they are trying to say is you are, you take so long in the bathroom. Sometimes you have to be considerate. Maybe you are like me that we spend two hours in the bathroom. I don't want to be on you, but what I want to be is I want to try and get rid of the dry skin as much as I can. Get, a, get rid of them and that is where you get your peace. Because when you are able to scrub out your skin, you don't need the soap and water in the first initial, you know, consultation with your skin. You just, under the shower, you just go like that. Soft scrubbing, you just use your hand to massage it. If you have a partner that is so romantic, ah, it's going to do majority of the job because he you down with his hand. You know men, they have powerful hands. And then you don't mind the, 
uh, a bit of water on you, then you employ him to do that for you. And you yourself, you see the, he's doing two things. He's giving you therapy, you know, call it um, aqua therapy, call it romantic uh, therapy, call it massage, anything you want to call it. Many people don't find sleep because they are not in a good relationship with their partner. I'm not doing partner today, I'm talking about towel. So before your towel comes to work, these are the some plans you have to do. That is, you have to prepare your towel yourself before your towel. So by the time you do that, it's so easy. You will see the skin falling off without soap, without only water and your skin and your hand is getting in touch with themselves. Relax and start doing this. And you see skin falling off. Those ones you don't need. You go on your yeah, you go on your chest, you rub it up and down like a yo-yo, rub your stomach, and you see skin falling off. Literally, you go by your thigh. Inside thigh, outside thigh, <coughs> outside. You see all these. And then even your feet. You scrub it, oh, everything is there without using any equipment. You scrub it down or your neck, your neck, because, you know, there's some skin that folds together, that they are not meant to fold, but, you know, some plump people have some folded skin, that is where this, when the skin laps, then you can see skin coming off it, because there's no enough air to visit those areas. So those are the areas you need to manage. You just use your hand like that, you rub it, just hand massage, or if you have a good uh, uh, partner can do that for you. Then after all this, then you now apply your soap with your sponge. Ah, that is what we call finishing touches. Then by the time you start doing it with soap and water and your sponge, oh my God, you are doing a wonderful job. You don't have to be too harsh with your skin to get rid of all the dead skin. You're not actually washing anything. You're just getting rid of dead skin. And you're getting rid of dead skin in the appropriate way. And excess oil, you are going to be happy. And even your towel will be happy. Because by the time you get rid of all this excessive skin, by the time you finish bathing or you finish having your shower, then you can now see your towel will do less work. All your towel needs to do is get rid of the excess water. And you know most of the time, your body is moist anyway. And then after you've you know, finished using your towel, then you can now apply some cream on your body. And for those who have time, make sure after using your towel, you rinse it out. You rinse it out. Some people will sit on their towel whilst they are putting cream on their body. Please, don't sit on your towel. Some people will use their towel to tie something on their head. Well, I believe head is even better than sitting on it. And some people will even fat on their towel. So the next time they want to use it, they are like, oh, this thing stinks. Yes, because if you put some chemical in it, which even soap and water will not take out. So. Make sure, some people will use their towel for something else that I can't even say, you know, the moment you use it that is not meant to be used for, just rinse it out and then look for a way to wash your towel. You know, men especially, they use their towel. If you are a woman and you love your partner or your husband very well, the only way you can show love to him is get him a separate towel. Love does not make make you share a toothbrush and a towel. No, it's not acceptable. We're talking about hygiene here. And hygiene keeps you going. There are some people, they, 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 they have a lot of things that they don't even know the source of their problem. Some people use towel to cover their pillowcase. If you want towel on your pillowcase, or in your bedroom, go and buy another towel entirely. Please, whatever you do, keep all your towels in the bathroom. Don't invite your towel in your bedroom. 
And if your house is multi-use home, that is to say, you are not just there with your family, you, you, are, you, are, you are forced to get out of the bathroom and you have to end up in your room. Fair enough, you can, because like I said to you, your wrapper to take to anywhere. So I don't see reason why you should take your towel into the bathroom, it's wrong. Absolutely wrong. Because look around you very well. Any time you take your towel in your bathroom, from your bathroom to your room, they always stay in the wrong place. They end up in the wrong place. So let your towel, your face towel, your hand towel, your body towel, now you have three in the bathroom for you only, for your eyes only, for your head only, for your body only, it's your towel. Don't share it. And if you suspect anybody sharing your towel, you know what to do? Either Coco or Colorami. That is, either you give it to the person, oh, don't worry, start using it. I don't need it anymore. Then you start uh, buying a new, you, you, you plan how to buy a new one. You understand? And the color that people don't like most in towel is very, very dull color and green. So, uh, you know, it's a statistic that has been taken. If you buy brown, green of any kind, and navy blue, nobody touch your towel. But if you, are, if you go and buy a very bright color, then if you are the home planner, you are the interior decorator in the home, you are in charge of getting stuff in the home, get every other people in your household, get them very, very bright color. If you are getting a towel for your husband, make sure his face towel is white. His body towel is white. Why is that? Or make it very light, light, light gray, or a bit of off-white. Make daddy the, the one that is using the white one most. The reason being that you will be able to throw it away faster. Because if you give, no disrespect to all our men, kudos to you as the head of the family. But if you give a man a dog to wear, you wouldn't know where to change it. But if you give them a bright way, then you know, you, no, nobody will even now give you a, a shout out. You will know, ah, Baba God, this towel is need changing. So that's the way you put him. You put him in his place through the color. And even you that you think you are all that, since you know Cinderella, change, make sure your color is not too dull so that you even forget to change your, because you wouldn't see the dirt. And we women, we are more dirtier than men. I'm sorry to say, you know the reason why? Because of our makeup. Our makeup have ruined the majority of our men's shirts. Hello darling, you are trying to peck him, you are trying to hug him. And most of the suits are ruined. And when they take it to dry cleaner, unfortunately, they can't get out, they can't get it out because of the material used to do the makeup. So now back to the towel business. Ladies, especially ladies, we need more than two towels to do our work. After you've using any other thing to clean your makeup and I will give you the tip I use for my makeup the best way to clean your makeup out before you use your face towel on it at all is shaving powder are you surprised? don't be surprised it's a research use at any point in time baby uh, wipes and men's shaving powder is the best ever developed things that will get rid of all your foundation, all your lipstick, all your... And when you are getting rid of your lipstick, make sure you close your mouth. And after all this thoroughly cleaning out your makeup, the next thing you do is you now apply your hot towel to finish the job for you or before you apply your hot towel you go under the shower you use your bubble bath you use everything you want to use some people have facial soap actually we we ladies 
Some people use facial soap to wash all the makeup out because you need to make your face rest, especially when you are going to bed, ladies. Then after all this, then your tongue will not come in and do the justice. Some people use towel in the bathroom to lay it down. Please, it's not advisable to do that. But if you are doing that, don't even try to wash it at all. Maybe after you've used it for a few days, just throw it in the pain. Because where do you want to wash? It's like washing your mop. Sometimes I, I just feel every time I mop the floor, I throw the water outside. So if I want to wash my towel, am I going to wash it in my bath? No, I will not do that. You won't, I won't feel comfortable washing it in my bath. So where exactly can you wash your, the towel you put in your toilet? I don't think I can wash that. So there are many things that you have to do to create clean environment. Because already, you know, as they say, this is not a hidden information in London. The hair is polluted because of technology. Now. At least when you get to your home, think about it. Change your lifestyle. Especially those who cannot sleep, those who have headache all the time. Simple thing cause headache for you. If you've used this same towel in the toilet, you use the same towel to, to bring your jello fries from the oven. You use the same towel to to wash your but after washing your hands in the toilet, you use the same towel tying on your head. And your towel is like as your border, as big as your your bed sheet. But on your shiny comb, come you will see it acquiring all the things you don't want. So change your lifestyle, and you see how you're going to live a peaceful life, and you see how many many times you will be having good health because you are changing, and you are you are you are doing things out of the box. You are improving yourself because charity begins at home when things are supposed to be in place and then you didn't do it properly then a lot of things is happening a lot of people don't know why they have headache so much that the doctor they go to the doctor and the doctor say to them oh there's nothing wrong with you maybe ordinary they just need to mop their face with warm water in a very thick soapy face towel that is all they need and things will change. There's miracle in your towel. And some people, we have loads of essential oil that you can add to your towel that you'll be, you'll be so amazed. Ordinary food coloring, food uh, thing, like vanilla, vanilla food uh, for cake. You can add it to your towel. And you'll be smelling vanilla when you put it on your face. Sometimes you can have but you can have banana flavoring in your so it depends on what exactly are you looking for. Some people who they don't like alcohol, there's there's all this flavoring that you can use. You can use oil, just me. There's lots of things that even you, you don't need perfume. Going to bed would be so friendly. And another thing you can do for those who like aromatherapy when you're going to your room buy another towel that you can put all these things in it and put it by your bedside so that when you're sleeping you can be smelling exactly all the essential oil you want to you want to enjoy so ladies and gentlemen it's beautiful to look after your heart it's beautiful to take care of your body the internal organ the, the skin covers us from head to toe. And when you take care of your skin through your towel, or towel as they call it, you will see the result. Change your lifestyle and live a healthy life. This is Omi West MC on Colorful Q. This is Heritage Television. Thank you all for watching. Surely come back. This is Monday. Every Monday is our day. Don't forget, make sure when you get the video, share it. Make it viral. Help others. Sharing is caring. Shall see you very soon. And don't forget to come to the event. It's this Saturday, 10th of June. 
if you're lucky, we would love to see you. Somala, 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 comedy show. Thank you. My name is Bonnie West. Heritage, heritage Television. Television. Promoting African culture and heritage at its best. From talk shows that concern you to both local and international news that relates to you. From grassroots football to African children's programs. Heritage Television. We cover your social and special events like weddings, birthdays, church anniversaries and so on. And broadcast them live on our apps and online. Heritage Television. Broadcasting everything about culture and heritage. Heritage, heritage Television. Television. We've got, We've it, got covered. it covered. Do download our apps on both Android, iOS, and Windows mobile platform. Heritage, Heritage Television. Television. Your very, Your own, very own TV, TV station. station.